Hello and welcome back once again to Danganronpa. Oh man, <clears throat> I had to take myself a, quite a bit of a break from this game because <clears throat> this game will push your buttons, literally. So last time, I remember we cleared the first trial. And I have no regrets for what I did. Neither should you, because it's the voice acting you're here for. <laughs> no, really, it's the voice acting you're here for. Anyway, let's waste no time. Let's get into the second case. Because, oh my god. It was, it was just crazy. So. Hmm. Let's actually pick up where we last left off, namely, continue. at the ending of chapter one. Well, we're beginning the start of chapter two. We're actually getting into chapter two. But be told the the creator of the, of the series just had a sort of hatred towards Leon and and, and Mizuno really really hated them because they were just in every single it's like they were in every single series and just wanted to kill him and he did it in the way I would call it Tomino style he basically just said you know what I'm just gonna kill him off Tomino style he said kill him off <laughs> so therefore he went he went Tomino style if you don't know Tomino um he's the guy behind Gundam and Ideon and Wolf's Rank, among other notable mid-depressing anime that you probably do not want to come across. Gundam is not always, you know, mid-depressive, but, but um, other anime, if, it, it's, it's like this, if he doesn't have a, if he doesn't really like anything about his work, he did one thing he ain't any other artist would do. Kill off the entire cast. Or just about kill off the entire cast until I was like, okay, guess what? Okay, I'm, I'm done. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Help! I almost forgot! 
forget, since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. It's okay. No need to take me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is that's enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rolling corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. I didn't even have time to mourn Sai Cousin Junko's death. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Leon, fuck you. <laughs> Seriously. It's just like, no, Leon, we don't care about you. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke. A sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry, I'm late. Hey, are you okay, Makoto? You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back here! Sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Dude, that's, that's not even funny, man. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like the whole thing never happened. Fuck. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Saika's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Mm. Makoto? Mm. Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. Mm -hmm. So everyone just try to cheer up and get back on track! <sighs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now it has happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it, like it or not, it's not that simple. Mm. What do you mean? The mastermind seems to have much more powerful. The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to put that as air. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great a risk. No, no. Then, what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. 
know what? I don't want to kill anyone else. I don't want to kill anyone else. Wait. Chiro, did you kill me for? Anyone else? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm tired because we all voted for him, right? It's no different than from us killing him ourselves. But, 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 but. Uh, if we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So this. She's right! If you hit that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full fledged masochist! Like you are, big. <clears throat> Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you. Not Leon. And not Saiga. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So, don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, Directed at the mastermind. If I can remember, if I can remember, the name backwards is Noredo. Yeah, Noredo. Yeah, that's true. Even in real life. I thought what happened. That's pretty cruel, man. <laughs> that piece of shit! Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates. Saika, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. That leads us into chapter two, The Boy's Life of Despair. I woke up to the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. 
What's it gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen in, with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Hey, look at the girl that you know by Battle Royale, anyone? Cause this is what I really... I've seen something like this before. Um, a manga that was turned into a live action called Battle Royale. In which there were about... This large number of students that were on an island. And the only way they could survive is that they would have to kill each other. And I remember at the end, there were only two that survived that whole mess. And they kept going. Never seen, the, if you never read the manga, go, go find a, go find a digital copy of the manga. It's pretty dark. And note, this is the only person that's just doing one, two, three, four. It's like, everybody's like, man, are you kidding? I remember I used to be like that. I wasn't always like that, but you know. I was always a Boy Scout. <laughs> We're all not impressed. Huh, huh. <sighs> Doesn't that just feel great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. It's just for keeping us stuck inside. Mm -hmm. It is with the small stuff, that's my manner. <laughs> oh, I sound pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in, in the agony for? <laughs> so, why did you call us here? Certainly wasn't just to make us exercise. Just to make you exercise. Just to make you exercise. Okay. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep. Do these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness. This power can be yours. I, I, I feel like the kind of chunk of Bill Skull would come off me. Doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Uh, sorry, wrong words. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really just call us, call us down here just to exercise? I know, Nick. Oh, of course not. You think I have that kind of time? I, sorry. Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then. Uh, you like to make an announcement! Every time you overcome a class trial here at Holmes Peak, a whole new world would open up to you! Do, do you a whole new world? Don't you dare close your eyes! It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you! Besides, I know how you kids these days with your ADD and ADHD 
God damn, Monokuma. Seriously. I gotta keep you motivated. <laughs> so go ahead, look all around you want. Enjoy the brave new post trial world till you explode. <laughs> With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. But. A new world? Is he talking about? I'm waiting to get outside? That seems unlikely. Well, we won't! Well, we don't know till we look! Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. Okay! Then let's split up and start investigating! When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found! <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? More like a staple food source! Now let's get moving! Sing his words as their signal. Everyone's scattered and left to jump. And so are we. Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad, this is super bad man! What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all, all that weird in there. Yeah, to the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful! A bad, awful, terrible trap! That stuff you see lined up there, any god come by and use it to send a message. Eh? Ah. I've been struck with knowledge, it's in the end open. A total devastation and ruin! Let me out of here, let me out! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Yeah, 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 no. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna leave you over there. You part of the funny farm, aren't you? So now that we are outside Away from Um what I'm gonna call him as Brother Love 2.5. <clears throat> if you don't catch that reference, something's wrong with you. <laughs> We're going to the pool. Why am I good? gate that was blocking the stairs have been open. Is what Monokuma meant by a new world? And so what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Be something all right. What is this? Library. Yeah, I'm giving my glasses a rest because you not. Know, I'm working on everything else with glasses. This is to be or not to be. Reality isn't everything. No, it's the only one. <laughs> 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 
reality just really isn't what it used to be. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, we know our limits here. Okay, here's where we need to go. The pool. I'm pretty sure, but let's go in there. Behind this door is... Oh, I guess you need your handbook to get you to the locker rooms. Really? 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 I tend to agree. If you want a locker, the locker room, you'll have to swap your personal ebook across the card reader next to the door. Home oh, police show maximum security within each locker room. Only a boy's handbook can open the boys' locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line! Because Monokuma said so. If someone opens the door and someone else sneaks in? <laughs> Anyone who commits such a decency will be punished without mercy for the for the scandalous sexual depravity. I see there's a godly gun mounted on the ceiling, right? <laughs> and it'll be all. Better really hard to get shot by this thing. Oh, oh no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Don't never give it a go to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Okay, then how's this sound? <laughs> it's time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there, so now nobody can give the handbook to anyone else, right? You know that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's cause my brain is what I've just said GOD! I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. This goes all you teenagers and sex crazed maniacs! You're out there as you try hoping a plastic bottle! So the keeping things don't seem to from happening. I happen to maintain a rigorous watch! 
And in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our doors. If some man and some woman decide to share them, there'd be nothing to stop them. Mm -hmm. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself! I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force of my cutting, do whatever you want! I hate you so much. Okay, so the new regulation is in. Just now, please. See ya! Uh. Man, that stupid bad totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip in. Uh, maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. Uh -huh. Celeste, she here? You wanna come with me? <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than getting water in my face. <laughs> Sorry, I'll pass this time. <laughs> How come? You're in a funk? There's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it? I'm pretty sure it only applies to you. <clears throat> I know, right? That just basically said, uh, it's, it's, do you really want to, yeah, do you, no, no, I'm, I'm like, uh, do I really, I just want to mess and then die, it's me. Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Now, this is an interesting poster. Obviously, someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this in here? If only I was 18 again. Yeah, I think I'll leave the pool. Thank you. And the locker room. I'll see you girls around. My second home away from home. The library. Well, I'm an author after all. Oh, so there you guys are. layer of dust on top of the desk. It's like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school is, self is, who's ever in charge of the upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Oh. Hello. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is... A letter? What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Oh. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? 
But we shouldn't read other people's mail without per their permission. What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. With that being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for their for your help and support over the years. For now, we are waiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? <laughs> the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been on all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up... I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. <laughs> of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. If it is real, though, I see the joke they did. My name. <laughs> that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there's no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. <laughs> that would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to open our door, reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? If the two events are indeed fact connected. Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motives. Although I really can't say any more until we find it in more details. <laughs> so, in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. We can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here. Will that be enough to get us out of here? Or. Or something else. There's a laptop? Where be this laptop? Oh. Alone. 
It looks like a laptop. The laptop's pretty old. It's all covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could go... I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. It's broken. There's nothing really I can do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. I can't see it. Anything that might lead to any kind of exit. All I could do now is hope someone else found something local. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover anything? Any interesting? New anything? There's a library! And a pool! A freaking pool! And like a rose field with exercise equipment! There was not, however, anything resembling an escape room. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey! There's no reason to get all sulky! Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! The warehouse and the bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! And the warehouse chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much, it's insane! <laughs> and so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like ha ha ha! Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Uh, okay, and, and what about fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? Uh, well, um... There wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here? None? Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. <clears throat> Fucking people. <clears throat> Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse? Where the fuck? <clears throat> we're, tr we're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. There's no point in taking your anger out on us. An attention is key, yes. For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. Mm. Whatever you say, you fucking loon. Uh, for now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. Yeah. That's all we done for today. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this a mastermind's plan? To give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Well, Kaiba, what do you think? saying anything. Lovely. Just what I wanted to hear. Of course it is. Yeah, I had to have some water after doing all the voices like that. <clears throat> oh, especially Mondo. Oh God, I had to... it's like okay, this is cool. Bar unhinged. <laughs> 
Because everybody knows cool bars are like, oh, hey, man. <clears throat> like that. You the messy. My mind has to you all promise not to leave our rooms during night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll go. I'll, I guess I'll just go to bed. Mr. Motocoma, Mr. Motocoma, do you have a second? I never really like myself. I just don't have any kind of skill or help. Like I said, I'm super good at it. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. My grades not awful. I could get into a day to college. I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I don't understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. Yeah, there's something wrong with that guy. Do I really want to deal with this day? That's fine. New rule has been added to regulation menu. You must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. But right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Well, I suppose I can just head there and do another page. At least we get to free time anyway. Mess hall. Morning, hips. Good morning. Is everyone here already? You. Uh, nope. Still waiting on Biakia and Taka. Biakia is no surprise, but strange Taka is not here yet. <laughs> you know, Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Yes, two levels. It's like you got normal with her, and then you got... How should I call this? Um, Ken Shiromori. Yes, Ken Shiromori. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't mind waiting for them, but there's one problem. Which is... <sighs> I'm thirsty. Aye, aye. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? <laughs> eh? Make <laughs> tea, if you please. 
me. Yeah. Your friend is figure reminds me of the uh, the, of the coffee shop I used to keep in. That's your reason? I can feel my throat trying out quickly, please. Oh, oh. Apparently unable to refuse the last order, Hifumi sculpted his way into the kitchen. Oh. And a few minutes later. <laughs> hmm. Thank you for waiting! If only repaired with tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he pushed. Honey. You made some butter for me, rest of us, you know. You're not going to be able to do it. Out. <laughs> it's all about the law of causality. Basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. At one point, I did want to. I did want to give a voice to Toko because she reminded me of someone else. And then I decided against it because I didn't want to try and hurt anybody's feelings. In the process. Mm -hmm. Small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Uh -huh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Well, damn. From the outset, the fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink it is like dousing your fries in ketchup, mere condiments. Whenever I'm looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. Thank God you are not part of, um, um... Oh, God, that, that, that one little... I was just gonna say, bitty bitty! <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. That... That one little, little bit of inter intermission in in the latest Neptunia game. Four guys is online. If I had to describe or share a reaction to what we just heard, <clears throat> I had to go with wide eye bewilderment. Ah. 
I went through all that trouble to make you, you that tea and you wanted me to go further. <sighs> yes, I realize it can be of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. I have tried that before. I have questions about that. I've tried it. Again, I have questions about that. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... Why are you even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. That does not matter who you have to bring me when I ask for swine! Go in there, big. Go in there. <laughs> oh, okay, your blue piggy will bring it right out. <laughs> it is a love question. What? You're like a totally different person just now. Yeah, a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> Yeah, you the one I gotta really watch out for. You the crazy one. I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. <sighs> Clearly she has a PMS click. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But... <clears throat> Bad news, everyone! There's a mystery afoot! <clears throat> huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Byakuya refused to leave his room! I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone, ex everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Ah, I was just about to suggest the same thing. Such a one. Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Yeah, before it's, you know, it's too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Byakuya. So where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe he went up to- Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Yeah, we're gonna leave your crazy ass here. to the second floor because um, Gates blocking access to the stairs. I wonder if this will open up at some point.
maybe I'll knock myself just to be sure. Yeah, I guess not. Well, I mean, she has a nice body. Very cute for her age. Hey, Hina. Hey, Hina, any luck? Sorry. Wrong voice! <clears throat> mm. No, that's no use. Keep barging out. Keep banging on his door and nothing. Come on up! Come on already! Open up! That's so a hammer brown knock right there. Be careful! You're gonna bust the door down hitting it that hard! <laughs> Relax is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. <gasps> Sakura's really awesome, you know? If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds! I see. Oh, she is the ultimate martial artist. She secretly knows. She secretly knows the Aledo Cookie School on, and a bit of Hokuto Shinken. <clears throat> she might actually be able to do it. <clears throat> I've been knocking long enough. I think I could say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna look around for him. Take a look. Hey, Toko. Hang out with Hina, huh? What? You got a problem with that? No. Something might have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So you got scared inside to stay close to him. I guess everyone has this song, so. <laughs> That's not how I'm supposed to fight, Sukuna. If something does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without thinking and take the fall. Eh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you eavesdropping? Awful! You're, you're just awful! <laughs> Get lost, you straight cat! You damn right I'm gonna get lost, you crazy bitch. Takes long time, but man, I'm just like, no. Nah. to come here too. Eh? If you think about what Byakyo was so interested in yesterday, you could probably guess where he is right now, right? Huh? What was Byakyo was interested in, huh? Again? My second home! Library. <clears throat> I cried out in sun surprise. Byakya! Of all the 
the things I imagined. This most definitely wasn't one of them. Yakuya snap his books shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yakuya! So this is where you've been hiding! What the heck are you doing here, man? We were very concerned. <laughs> Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading them. I've never had such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. How long are you reading? A mystery novel. Wait, wait, wait. so you're gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't. Be stupid. I'm not, I'm a moron. <clears throat> yeah! It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, the game of ours, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> it's worse than a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up! <laughs> oh, but it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can have only one winner. That's all there is to it. He is right. It's a zero sum game. Eh? <laughs> Part of game theory. Mathematical model. In game theory, what we're going through now is called zero something. This type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. Oh god, are we going through an equivalent exchange with this? In other words, it's a situation in which participants must compete for positional resources. Oh, you mean like. A kind of elimination match. Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited for you to succeed. Someone else must fall, must fail. It's called a dog eat dog world. That's what it is. This also applies to school life we have been subjected to here in this case. Our limited resources is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. So, this game is, was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. Th th that can't be what they had in mind! 
This is why adap adaptation is so crucial. And those who want to escape or to disappear, there will be no reason to continue playing the game. <clears throat> but why do I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. I smiled again as I spoke. That smile was filled with evil intent. He twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you don't. It sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Fools and dust. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Togami heir, apparently. <sighs> it's just not my actions, isn't it? Yes, that's Seto Kaiba. It's that Seto Kaiba attitude. You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Uh, yeah. I won't. Simply isn't possible. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't. Believe what? Uh -huh. That an uneducated brain dead useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fucking kill you! Uh -huh. Like I said, I won't die. Uh -huh. You keep saying that, but uh -huh. do not bother. Do not bother arguing. Okay? I am the concept of simply uh, of losing simply doesn't. He's the ultimate affluential progeny, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. Yeah, that makes him settle Kaiba. You know why? Because screw the rules, he has green hair. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. And he wants to be the Pharaoh, not Yugi Moto. <clears throat> Has some challenges and really ways for him to spend victorious, even if it's a life and death situation. <laughs> Is that not so, Bianca? <laughs> At least one of you seems so standard. It's because I'm the same as you. Games are meant to be one. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Because they feel good enough. To apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, what's the where's the fun for me? That's a terrible way to look at it. This is the king. And I said alone, you know. To tell your friends, it's horrific. Friends, who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Boy. Yes. If you have something to say, say it! Otherwise, keep your mouth shut! Get off on bullying people that can't fight back! You wanna try that on me? <laughs> so you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would brace your breath on such empty gibberish. <laughs> that's it! You're fucking dead! I am calm! How is this calm? Anyway, 
I don't have any intention of working with the rescue of any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Ah, uh, yeah. Engaging in friendly groups... <laughs> Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone can easily poison our food. And I'd rather not be part of the Last Supper just yet. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something! All I'm saying is that ultimately you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Yakuya left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But if he's just serious about all that, <laughs> he was without a doubt. <laughs> well, fuck me! <laughs> but but, but, but what he said, he might not, not, not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> Okay, come on, you two don't go! What is it? It's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You, you all think I'm <laughs> disgusting! None of us think that. <laughs> you, you just think! You, you, you don't think that! <sighs> I. Some people like to play the victim, but this is just it's totally out there. I don't know, but I do. You want me gone? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same the thing, don't you? Uh, hey, Toko, wait! Yeah, just let it go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring back. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already. I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time. So I think it's safe to say that I'm actually going to stop here, and in the next part, um, free time, and then, we go until we get to investigation. So stay tuned, more of Danganronpa, right after this.